is a cute tin we go torty, calico, mix. It's kind of a, we, we can't decide whether it's calico or torty, so we're going to call it tortical or calitort. But anyway, she's a little female, and when kittens come from the shelter, they're often uh, infected with um, respiratory viruses. The, the top, the, the, the um, most common respiratory viruses are herpes and calissi. She's really enjoying it. When you look at kittens that come from the shelter, often you look at their eyes and make sure their eyes are nice and clear and bright, like this little ones, uh, that they're not got any crusts to their nose, and that they don't have a fever. Mainly, it's not that, it's not that I think that she's going to be typhoid Mary and spread everything all over the world. It's just that we just want the new owners to know that this little kitten that they're adopting may or may not, may or may not spread stuff to their other adult cats. And even if a kitten does spread herpes or clissy virus to an adult cat, the adult cat may have immunity to it through vaccinations or through exposure because they run around with the crowd that's outside and often harboring these different diseases. Many cats have a chronic or carrier state of herpes virus, which causes respiratory viruses. And that is the most common one in shelters and in, in colonies. You have to make sure their, their ears are nice and clear, their teeth are all good, their gums are pink, their eyes are nice and clear, and they're Nose is good. Um, we kind of look them over and make sure they have all the parts they need. Um, and anus is always nice. That's what we look at. And we vaccinate kittens. And we give them a round of two leukemia vaccines and three respiratory vaccines um, a month apart to make sure they don't get the respiratory viruses that I'm going to be showing you. So you can buy those or get them at your veterinarian and I just want to show you the, the uh, technique for vaccinating a cat. A kitten, you should use a counter where they can't grab with their claws and um, then you um, have it all ready um, and you take the tip off and then you can um, pinch the skin do it horizontal. Don't try to do it like that. It's too hard. If you pinch it like that and put the vaccine underneath your thumb and draw out, then you can just shoot it in. Cats don't mind it too much. That's one. And and your purring is that cute. Here, purr. She's happy. She's playing. She says there's lots of stuff here to do. This is better than home. So we're going to pinch again. I'm going to pinch, roll the skin up, put the, the syringe right, the needle right underneath my thumb, draw back, make sure there's no blood, and then shoot it on in. And you're still purring. You've been vaccinated against herpes virus and clissy virus and panleukopenia virus. What do you think? And this little kitty's from the shelter. I can't remember if cat colony. It's kind of feral. Feral means uh, not used to people, but it's getting used to people. See, it's kind of backing up. Um, you can see the nose is kind of crusty. You can see a little bit of crust around the nose, and you'll often see cats bubble and uh, have a lot of discharge, and that's from herpes and clissy virus that actually make them um, get infected with blisters and sores. And then, secondarily, other bacteria will move in and cause infections. So if we look in the mouth, this is really a hallmark of Clissy virus. See, see the ulcers on the tongue? And the viruses will cause... See, the ulcers, those ulcers on the tongue are just like the ones in the nose and can actually be ulcers in the, on the, or inflammation on the membranes of the eyes. So this kitty's been through several rounds of antibiotics. Um, and it gets better, then it gets worse. That's because it's now a carrier. <laughs> oh, it doesn't like that noise. <laughs> That's ripping paper. The, uh, so this cat kitten got better with uh, antibiotics and then it got worse again. So it's, 
its immune system, it has to grow up enough and its immune system has to develop so it can get rid of these uh, bugs that are infecting it. So I think we're done. <laughs>